Welcome to Volunteering Solutions Guide to Beyond Six Form. Volunteering Solutions was established in 2006 with the aim of changing the face of youth travel. My name is Tatiane and I'm the Programme Advisor here at Volunteering Solutions in the UK. Our office is located at the London Borough of Saturn. We are an international gap year volunteering and internship provider with more than 150 projects across than 25 countries around the world. There are several paths one could choose after sixth form. Many choose to go directly to further education universities, while some choose to take a short course and apprenticeship, and some choose to take up a job. Today, however, we'll be spending most of the time talking about the students who choose to take a gap year. And for the rest who don't, you can still choose to experience a taste of what these students do without taking a gap year. The students want to do something meaningful while on their gap year. The most popular option students choose is to volunteer abroad. Second most popular is taking an international internship to add credits to their education while gaining first-hand experience of something they intend to study, such as medicine or journalism. And many just want to travel. And today's youth travel is very different than 20 years ago. Youth now are more aware and really want to give something back. Okay. Let's talk a little bit about volunteering abroad. Why to volunteer abroad? First and foremost, volunteering is a humbling experience. This is where you find happiness when giving selflessly. You can see here some of our volunteers working in a children's home, cleaning the beach, or here taking care of a koala. Many organizations today provide a diploma for volunteering abroad. Volunteering Solutions offers a diploma in international volunteering, which consists of five modules, one of each involves international volunteering placement. This course itself will help you to prepare for your placement. And once the five modules are completed, you gain a UK qualification that is recognized internationally. Diploma in International Volunteering is a 41 credit qualification, a value of up to 21 credits in Europe, or the SCH scheme. In the US, this qualification would be equal to 10 academic credits. So, if you don't want to lose a whole year, you can choose to take up the Level 3 Diploma in International Volunteering and get credit for you when you are ready to go to university. While you're out there in the world, the first-hand experience you will get is not comparable to anything else. You will see a different culture, taste a different cuisine. You will learn different ways of living. Most of all, you come back home feeling grateful for the little things. After all, when you see things that are basic to us, sometimes are privileged to others. And of course, it's a given that any such experience will help you to make your CV more appealing. Hello, my name is Looney. I will talk a little bit about international internships. What is so different than getting an internship here? Well, first of all, the conditions are not the same all over the world. The technology is not the same. When you intern abroad, you understand the differences you get to experience a lot more and the sense of helping is much bigger if you were to intern here. For example, people in rural Nepal think that it is normal not to have molars or to live with pain every day when they eat because they do not understand basic dental hygiene. There are places without proper medical facilities. Volunteers and interns are the only medical support they have. On the other hand, if you are placed in bigger hospitals, for example, in India, being one of the medical hubs of the world, you may be able to experience a different speed of treatment altogether. When you are hands-on and at a new environment, it is essential that you're open to new experiences, whether it is working from a mobile clinic or helping a person recover from a simple pain. 
When you work together with local people, you learn their culture and what is expected of you. Here at Volunteering Solutions, we provide several internship options. We provide internship programs in several countries around the world. If the students require, they can get a certificate confirming the internship completion once they have completed their placements. And not to be forgotten, your work experience not only helps you for further education in the field, but also adds to your CV. I've seen many students take an internship even in between their university education, mostly medical students after their second or third year, even in their fourth year. Hi, this is Saurabh. Uh, the youth today is extremely aware of the environment around them and choose a more sustainable option even when traveling abroad. We have talked about it before that even if some of you do not want to take a gap year, there are things you could do to take a similar experience. This is one of them. Short travel anywhere between one to three weeks. Here you can see our student groups at Thailand, South Africa, Peru. Those are just some of the exciting pictures. You can find a host of short travel programs on our website. We call them two week specials. This is another attractive option. Our summers are always fully booked with students wanting to make the most before their term starts. You could choose from a one week program at Nepal or two week Kenya wildlife trip, even a language and orientation program in India, which includes tour of the Golden Triangle and you also see one of the seven wonders of the world, Taj Mahal. Just like short trips, there are several options around the world. You'll be able to find more details on our website. What if you want to give back? You want to volunteer, but you do not have enough time. Well, you could still experience this, which are short term volunteering programs, whether you help to build a school or save endangered anim animals or teach English. Those 10 days will be the most memorable in your life. And while you're at it, our programs allow you to learn the local culture, the cuisine, as most of our programs will have you staying with the host families and eat local cuisine unless you have dietary requirements, which are obviously taken care of by our host families. We generally prefer to meet students face to face at Futures Day. However, this time we are unable to visit in person. Hope this presentation has been helpful. Please scan the above QR code to reach us. I look forward to hearing from you if you have any questions. Thank you and wish you a joyful rest of the day.